Hi guys, I wanted to make another tutorial for you this evening. I want to show off an extension that I created. Uh, it's called a, a menu example and you can find it in the plugin repository. And what it does is it's just giving you a, uh, a variety of functionality within a single menu and I'll show you exactly how it works and how I set it up and uh, what it's going to do um, I'll show you when we get this back in world I'm gonna copy those parameters and I'm gonna supply them inside of my action object with a um, just a, a blank breed and a, a blank um, uh, action object here we just have matching channels and that's all I use to configure it but what we've got here is um, I'll run through real quick uh, we're going to have a menu that has uh, a number of different functionalities to it. We're going to have a, a sound button that turns on and off a sound that you have to call from a different uh, series, a different method. So if you have sounds that loop or play during the actions, um, this is going to change the volume of the sound. And I, I made this toggle button so that you can see how, how toggling works and what it does is right now we're going to uh, from start we're going to define the sound button as uh, this is what the sound button is going to be uh, to look like it's going to say sound off by default the sound is on uh, it's assuming that the sound is on by default um, and then a, uh, a touch bind which gives the owner the menu uh, the menu sends the uh, the dialogue to the owner key with uh, just a simple message saying example menu uh, but we have the sound button and then we have other buttons such as setting the name which will bring up another menu for us to be able to change the name of the object as well as showing the statistics uh, for the breed this is going to be a hover text that shows and then hides after a period of time as well as the hover text color and it will give you another menu to, to choose which color you want and um, just to briefly explain how the toggle works um, when sound toggle is uh, called because when we uh, touch the sound off it's going to call this event sound toggle and it will filter whether the button is currently whether it's currently labeled sound off or sound on if it's sound off it will um, set the button to sound on and it will set the value of the volume to to zero so it's basically turning it off because I'm clicking a button called sound off and now it changes the button so when I get the menu again it will say on additionally um, it will say in local chat to confirm that the sound is now off however if the button when you uh, when you click on the button in the menu if the button is not sound off, if it's actually on, uh, if the button is labeled on, then when it will sa send you a, uh, um, it will say this disable sound. Maybe the language is a little wrong, but it should be enable sound. It will go to that event and skip these, and it will say um, it will set the uh, the button now to to off because now the volume is on. And it will set that volume valuable uh, value to uh, to one, which would be uh, you have a range between 0, 0.0 and 1.0, with half volume being 0 0.5, uh, which you could set here just like that. But the maximum is one, so if you put 20, it's still only going to be a, a one. Um, the it'll also now say in local chat that the sound is on. Um, just because people are a bit OCD like myself I'm going to correctly label that um, let's now look at uh, the the next option is when you click on set name it will um, send you to this callback event uh, because remember when you are creating buttons for this you uh, for a menu I mean first you have your key and then you have the message that shows in the dialogue but then you have um, the, the rest of the comma separated values would be button equals callback so the button is going to be the, the the words that you see in the button the label that you can click on and when you click on it it will call you back it will trigger the event 
that you define here. So clicking set name would go to input name. Input name here brings up a text box again to the owner key and it just gives me, it tells me what my breed's name currently is and it'll say the name by replacing this expression with the breed's current name and then um, on the next line it'll say set your breed name here and it gives you an input where you can uh, type in a name and after that it will um, when you click submit it will toggle back to set name and in set name the it will call the value um, uh, my name and change that to what was this, uh, provided in the chat message uh, the other um, button that we have in the menu is uh, show stats and in show stats it um, it binds a timer for 20 seconds to hide the text so what we do is um, after we buy after the timer is bound it will show the text um, immediately saying you know this is my name this is my age this is my gender and after 20 seconds is up it'll hide the text it'll call this uh, event which unbinds the timer so the, the timer doesn't continue to run and it will set the text to blank by supplying a, a blank text method and the last button on our menu here is text color which we'll call the color menu event which gives you another menu again to the owner key with a simple uh, message saying set the text color uh, the button red would set red here changing the value of the text color to 1.0 uh, 100 which in vector that's um, RGB so it would be uh, red with no green or no blue um, and similarly if you have blue if you select blue it'll set blue changing the text color to blue and uh, green so again it's R G B uh, red green blue and that's the simple way to um, to set up this menu again you could even use um, how I'm how I created the uh, the sound button uh, to toggle on um, the the button itself on and off you can uh, you know use that for just about anything such as wander on or off um, and a number of different uh, simulations but for this this will just help you understand how it works so I'll click save and once it's saved I can now uh, since the only bind here by default is the uh, for when I touch it to give the owner of the menu so I touched it gives me the menu which uh, when I click on sound off as my first example it turns the sound off and says it in local chat now when I click it again it'll say sound on and I can also now change it so that the sound is now on uh, additionally we can um, we can set the name and let's see the name currently is uh, if you want to figure out how to pronounce that Jurit uh, right the um, the value that we're going to um, give it now let's just say we'll give him you know just call it test name and click send and clicking send will now give it that name if I click on this again uh, maybe just show the statistics it shows its name the age and the the gender of female so I see how it has the name that's the name that I just gave it called test name and um, after 20 seconds the text is removed and the timer is disabled um, additionally now you've seen that that was green we'll go into the last button here the text color and we'll change it to a predefined uh, color such as blue so now we've set that to blue when we click this again and turn on the stats it will be blue hover text course you can use a more prettier color but this just gives you an idea as to how to set this menu up and uh, also how to use the, the toggle events as well as the methods the text box uh, the menu method and the text box method um, and to how to set your uh, different values with the input provided by the, uh, the the input value of the text box okay good luck